Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mm. It's a good day. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm. I don't know. Should that be my intro every time I come back? Maybe not. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. But yeah, welcome back. So on today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing a review, a foundation review. Um, it's of a recently new foundation. It's not new, new, but it's recently... Um, it has recently come out. Um, I'm obsessed with like a lot of the Maybelline products that they make. Um, I'm obsessed with the concealers that they make. So I am going to be so I'm going to be reviewing the new Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I have it in two shades, and I'll tell you guys why I chose to um, do it this way instead of just picking one shade. Um, so I'm going to be mixing these two shades and then try it on my face and let you guys know what I think of this product, whether or not I recommend it, and like the pros and cons of this foundation. Thank you so much for being here watching this tutorial and let's get it done. Let's, let's, let's get it done. I got 130. This is the 130. It's very light. Um, and this is... This is 312, so big difference right there. So I'm going to mix 130 with 312, which is 312 is golden, and 130 is buff beige. So basically, I'm going to mix this two and show you guys the results that I get on my face. Um, you can definitely do this with, um, especially with drugstore foundation. I feel like it's so easy to mix your foundations. I do this all the time with drugstore um, foundations, just because you know they're not too expensive. So you can definitely buy like you know two, three, four of them. Just keep them, you know, and you can always mix it. You know, sometimes for example, like when you go on vacation, you're gonna get a tan right so you want to have a darker one or like you know in the winter you might get lighter and you want to you know have a lighter shade just in case you know this one is definitely a little bit too light of what i usually tend to go for but like i said because i'm going to be mixing it this is a little bit darker than what i usually use but because i'm going to be mixing it it's going to give me the perfect match that i want the first thing i'm going to be doing is using my tarte poreless primer and this primer just basically does the job when it comes um, to basically kind of making sure that my skin is like perfect. You know, like I don't have pores showing up and stuff like that. So it does a really good job with that. And I'm going to put a small amount like so, rub it on my fingers and just apply it all over my face. I prim primarily focus all around my nose area and my forehead just because I feel like that's where my pores are. I already did my um my eye makeup and I did a liner today. Oh my goodness, guys! I was so impressed because like literally took me like five minutes to do my liner and I didn't have to clean it up. Nothing like that. I was like, yes. So I'm going in right now with one of my favorite makeup brushes. This is the T40 from Makeup Shack and this brush right here is amazing. So I'm going to pump a small amount of both on the back of my hand like so. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put a small amount like that. And then that's the lighter shade, that's the 130. And then I'm going to get the two, I mean the 312 and I'm going to mix it, I mean, put it next to it like that so i'm going to show you guys what the color looks like by itself on my face just so you can see the difference and then i'll show you guys how it's going to come up once i mix everything so that's the 130 as you can tell it's very very light and then this is the 312 you can tell it's a little bit darker than my skin tone it's not so bad but it's a little bit dark this would be like something i would use in the summer like for example when i have a tan i feel like this would be close to the type the foundation that i um i would use now i'm mixing both of them as you can tell it's a little bit lighter so we can go ahead and do it and like i said if you feel like if you feel like it even after you mix and it's a little bit too dark you can definitely go in and add a little bit um of that lighter shade um so i'm just going to mix like so okay okay so far this foundation feels like flawless it feels like i'm putting on like a high-end foundation on my face like it feels very lightweight 
but as you can tell it's giving me that full coverage so as of right now it's doing the job really really good and you always want to bring your foundation all the way down to your neck just in case because especially like today I mixed uh, we definitely want to make sure that it's not looking too dark or too light you know we want to make sure it's matching everywhere I'm gonna do another small amount mix it boom put my forehead like so I hate doing foundation on my forehead. I feel like it's a struggle for me. Especially after, before, after I do my brows. Um, this foundation is really, really good. It does not feel um, like drying out. It does not dry out, which is good. It's, it's still like, once you blend it out, it feels dewy, which is amazing. I feel like this is perfect for like, you know, any occasion. It's just like lit right now bro so this is basically the foundation in place i haven't done my concealer yet so i'm just gonna give you guys a quick like um a quick thought of what i think about the foundation just now without setting it without concealing anything like that as of right now it feels really really good on my skin it's a full coverage foundation but it feels very lightweight you know it feels like i don't have anything on my face um also it's very dewy, you know, like I feel like it gives me a glow. A lot of the times when I put foundation on, I feel like it dries out so fast. But this one, it sits so nicely on the face that it feels like you literally have nothing on your face. So as of right now, I'm really impressed with the foundation. Like I said, bomb. As you already know, I'm a big fan of the Super Stay Concealer, which is also from Maybelline. So um, I've told you guys uh, this before in the past um, in the past videos. I've told you guys that I do this just to pretty much cover up my dark circles. So I go in with a very light shade of this concealer right here. Um, it's usually it's typically lighter than the concealer that I use um, in order to like highlight my face. This one is like struggling. I need to do one. Like so, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that out. Um, this concealer is amazing for correcting darkness, for just making your under eyes a little bit brighter. And it stays in place all day long. You could definitely use this just by itself like so. Like for example, you can finish off and just put up um, and just powder your under eye. But I choose to go with another layer of my Tarte Concealer on top of this. Just because I want that full coverage. You know, um, as you can tell, I have a lot of bags under my eyes. Sometimes it's really hard to get rid of it. So that's why I go like with two different concealers or two different um, layers. Just to make sure I really get that coverage. And then again, with my Tarte Concealer, I'm going to apply a layer of this under my eyes. On the bridge of my nose, on my forehead. And just basically kind of highlighting my face with this. As you can tell, this is not very light. I try to match it with my foundation just because sometimes I feel like I don't want it too light unless I'm going for like a very extra look. Then I'll make sure it's like a little light. But on a look like this, I try to keep it as simple as I can. And like so, going in again with that same beauty blender, I'm going to blend everything out. And to set that concealer in place, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder and just set it all in place. I'm going to lock it down, baby. I usually don't bake. I don't know why. I just don't bake. I set it and keep it moving. I don't got time to put that powder there and let it bake. Nah. We're on to the next step. We ain't got time to be chilling. Mm-mm. Once that concealer is set in place, I'm going to go in with my Laura Geller powder and I'm basically just going to set everything in place with this. Um, I'm setting the foundation in place 
it still feels dewy it does it's not it's not feel like it's drying or caking on my face a lot of times that happens with foundations where you feel like oh you know it's like overwhelming your face but this one still feels light with the powder and it still looks good you know um i'm really like impressed with this foundation so now i'm gonna go in contour my face do everything that i need to do in order to finish off my face i'm gonna come back read some of the stuff about the foundation and give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation okay guys so pretty much i just finished off doing um everything that i had to do to my face so now i'm just gonna give you guys a quick like overview like description of this foundation and then i'll give you guys my final thoughts of what i thought in general about this foundation so on the back of it it says it's a full coverage foundation i agree um it says it at last is up to 24 hours so i'm going to be wearing this all day pretty much up to like the night time and then just see how it goes um it says it's seamless matte finish so this is what's kind of like throwing me off because when i have it on my face it doesn't feel matte on my face or the finish doesn't look matte on my face um it feels very dewy which is weird so i don't know i guess it's supposed to have a matte finish but i didn't get the matte finish i don't know if it's because i mixed both of the foundations together or i don't know but just on my face i feel like it wasn't matte at all um it says breathable and comfortable very true I so agree with that it feels like I have nothing on my face it feels very lightweight you know just perfect it says it's oil free and it doesn't clog up pores as of right now it looks amazing on my face I feel like you can't really tell like where my pores are like you know where I'm, I'm struggling with, like like the areas of my face I'm struggling with so overall it looks good it looks flawless like I can complain about like you know seeing any pores popping out or like you know any parts of my face that's struggling so yeah that's pretty much what this foundation says on it like I told you from the start I did and you guys saw me doing it I did mix two of the shades together um, just because when I went to go purchase it I felt like they didn't have my right skin um my right shade so that's why i chose to do it this way and like i said i do this with a lot of foundation not because it's just this one that i did it um especially drugstore foundation i tend to do that just because i feel like i get a better um match to my skin tone um but overall i definitely recommend this foundation it retails for i think 11.99 um i got this from alta so at alta was 11.99 it might be cheaper somewhere else but overall, this foundation did the job. I hope you guys do try this at home. I feel like you won't waste your money. Um, definitely go for it. Definitely test it out. And just see for yourself what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's really, really awesome. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it's going to be one of those foundations that I'm going to be drawn to all the time now. Just because of how it feels on my face. That's pretty much all I have for today for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. Um, and thank you again so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Bye.